National Science Week is so important because it gives a chance for us scientists and science communicators to really say, hey, this is what we're doing. And it, 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 we're not all in lab coats stuck up in some kind of ivory tower. We are members of the community and we're talking about things that you interact with every day. And National Science Week just gives a platform to really bring those issues to the forefront and let people know we're out there doing awesome stuff and they can come and be a part of it. I've always been interested in science. Um, I, I'm, I've always been a tinker thinker and I've always asked questions and wanted to know why, right? And so uh, science is how you figure stuff out. You test it, you know, you, you test it, try to figure it out and find the answer most of the time. Some of the things that we discover in science and mathematics are beautiful. There are these beautiful theorems and results and discoveries which uh, are works of art. And if, and if the public can have some sort of access to it which doesn't involve going and doing a three-year degree, like an access point to actually kind of be able to look at some amazing structures, pictures, diagrams, interesting comedy. You know, it's a way of creating access, which hopefully will turn into people having really wonderful careers. I love being able to try to answer questions, to explore and figure things out that no one else knows, or just to figure it out for myself. Being able to answer questions I find incredibly powerful, and I guess I find it, you know, kind of fun to go through and solve what are effectively puzzles. When you solve a problem, there's something going on which is really amazing. Like you're actually uncovering something, you're discovering something. It's like, it's like you're, you're exploring in the wilderness and you don't know where you are and then suddenly you come across this amazing waterfall. That's Pythagoras' theorem. I love biology for like a billion reasons. Every time I read something new, I just, I'm like, yeah! Like there's just nothing that, that doesn't shock me anymore, but I appreciate it so much. The diversity, the beauty, just there's so many aspects of biology that blow my mind. I mean, I often get into really interesting conversations with people on the plane because I, if I'm working, I'll have a paper out that says something like fellatio in bats increases reproductive success by 30%. And people will be, they either run and hide or we start talking. The thing I really like about science is the way it seems to answer the fundamental questions about how things work. And I think if you really want to get to the truth of the matter, you need to use a scientific approach. I think that's what we've realized over the last couple hundred years, and it's allowed us to improve the lives of everyone around the world immensely. One of the things I think people have this, um, showing the passion of science and the creativity of science, because often people think that it's not a creative thing either, um, and showing people that scientists are just other people and that you can think here and you can, you know, you, you don't have to be what everyone thinks a scientist is, that's really, really important. So to have this space, this safe space where people can do this and talk about things um, and that it's okay to be a geek, I think is, is really important. There's people from all over the world that come here and uh, people from all over you know, Australia just to get to meet them in person, talk to them, that's cool. I like, I'm, a, I'm a very relational person, so I like to meet people and you know just learn about their lives. Explodes, really, ready? Oh. A lot of the time, people don't think about science, so it's great to have a week where we sort of raise the level of science in people's consciousness. I think it's phenomenal the level of talent that we've been able to attract to Australia, like the Mythbusters guys, Chris Hatfield, all of these guys. I mean, I think it's phenomenal and it really will make people stop and think a little bit more about science and how it impacts their lives. And I think that's super important because that's what we need for uh, you know, solving the problems of the future. So National Science Week is a time to celebrate science, to think about science, and hopefully remind ourselves how important science is for the lives we've all become accustomed to. You get people focused on all the, you know, the cool stuff about science. You know, the drive is to get people so interested in the cool stuff that they realize that, hey, the research is really, really important. And, you know, we, we got to this cool stuff by doing all the hard, the hard work, if that makes any sense. So Science Week is important because you can communicate across a broad spectrum of people and educational backgrounds why it's important without having to just, you know, ram, you know, papers down their throats or anything like that. You can relate to a bunch of people. That's why Science Week is important.